morning, guys. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today, we're talking about Android and Developer Preview 2. And you'll notice that I have it on the setup screen here. And that's because we have um, what's pretty much an all-new setup experience, or mostly new. Um, I'm going to set it up as a, as a new start, although um, same as the old settings where you can either tap an old device against it um, to copy all of the stuff from that device or restore from a backup in the cloud. Um, type in my Wi-Fi password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, you know, so nobody can figure it out, you know, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, it's slick. Don't tell anybody. Okay. So I've signed into my account. I've agreed to the terms of service. This is all normal stuff. Um, the American English thing that we saw in the other one that was part of um, the old setup experience. Uh, well, not the old setup experience, but from the original Android N developer preview, actually. Um, now it's going to take a little while to activate Project Phi, which is really weird because it only takes this time to activate it on Nexus devices. I've tried Project Phi on my iPhone, on Windows phones, and you, just, and you just pop the SIM in there and it just works, just like any other SIM card, any other network, any other phone. But for some reason on this phone, it seems to want to take time to activate it, at least when you when you first set up the phone. All right, so it's gonna take just a sec, which clearly takes more than a sec. So I don't know, I think it's false advertising. But hey, that's just me. Anyway, I'm joking, because I know someone's gonna comment on that. Okay, so this is all also pretty standard. We're gonna continue with a uh, fingerprint. Let's go with a uh, pattern, so I don't have to show a, a pin. We're gonna require a pattern to start the device, right? All pretty standard stuff we've seen before. Um, and fingerprint scanner, by the way, fingerprint scanner on this phone, the setup at least is awesome. Uh, well, the fingerprint scanner itself is awesome, but I mean, six, six times you put your finger down and, and that's, that's it. Anyway, so this is new, um, choose additional apps, right? So you can uncheck all this stuff. You don't want Google play books, Google keep slides, sheets, docs, uh, news and weather, right? and you can just get rid of all that stuff. And then these things start to disappear. So um, show all notification content. Um, now these are all, um, or most of them are stuff that we've had before, the, the show all notification content thing. Um, the difference is that it's all in one handy screen right here, which is, it's pretty, pretty nice. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. All right, now I have my, Okay, Google set up, and we're gonna finish, and then everything else will set up later. And now we're in. It's 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 cool. Anyway, um, we as you can see, we have new folder styles here. Before it was just icons stacked on top of each other. So now it's more like you're seeing inside the folder to see what's there. Um, we've seen similar designs from just about everywhere else. So there's that. Um, nothing nothing really exciting there. One thing, One thing that Google noted in the release notes as far as front-facing features goes is, um, is Emoji Unicode 9 support. Um, now, if you recall, Android 6.0.1 brought Unicode 8 support, which is the very famous middle finger emoji. Um, so now these, we have some new emojis here. We're going to see um, new people emojis. We're going to see new activities emojis in here. All right, so again... It's just new emojis, um, no, nothing to get really excited about. Now, uh, they did promise that that Beta 2 would be um, would be an incremental update to Beta 1. There's going to be five previews, five developer previews in total, uh, one a month. Uh, beta 3, developer preview 3, I should say, before someone corrects me on it, uh, that's going to be an incremental update as well. Um, developer preview 4 is going to be the final APIs. You'll be able to submit your Android and apps to the Play Store. Um, developer Preview 5 is going to be close to the final, the final image. And then there's going to be the, the final build in Q3. All right, so um, other stuff that they did note, uh, launcher shortcuts, um, Vulkan. So the Vulkan API will be part of the OS. Um, API changes, bug fixes, that's it. But there are other features in here, okay? Um, if you look, we have, um, you can edit this and you can go in and you'll see there's a new calculator uh, quick shortcut that you can add. So um, that's fun, you know, calculators, huh? Eh? Eh? 
Yeah. All right, so we got that in there. All right. Um, of course, we have the system UI tuner that was always there. And system UI tuner is added to settings. That allows you to add all kinds of little customizations. Um, enable split screen swipe up gesture. Um, yeah, so, so so there's some new stuff. Um, another thing that I would note is that there were some things that uh, lower level settings that just didn't didn't work in the first preview, um, such as this. There will be if if you watch the original hands on video that I made with the first preview, it would just be a little tiny window about this thick, and there would be nothing in it. Um, so so lower level settings did have problems. Um, it's in a lot better shape now. I'm noticing a lot less bugs and everything. Everything seems to be in much better shape with this preview. I still don't recommend it. I haven't tested it enough to tell you, yeah, put this on your daily driver. Um, and still, it's a developer preview. Even Google says it's a developer preview. Don't put it on your daily driver. It's made for developers that are making apps. All right, but that being said, it's in pretty good shape. Um, another thing I had problems with in the first, first preview was the camera. Um, that seems to be in much better shape now. All right. I've done a few factory resets since because um, I was testing the, the setup experience. Another thing that's new is we have a clear all button up here that'll clear all apps. That wasn't there before. Um, the no recent items, that's new. I, these are basically, obviously, little little things that, that um, just, just show up. It's not worth putting in the release notes, right? Um, so that's about it for now. If I find anything else, I will be sure to, to keep you guys updated. So make sure to subscribe to NeoWin and there's obviously more to come soon. So, and of course, by the way, the main feature of Android N is the split screen here. Uh, no multi window just yet. Although you can get that multi window by, um, by making some changes. I, I never got into that, but you should be able to do it. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.